So I, I wanted to tell you the story about Tuxan, who was the great famous Diamond Sutra scholar. And since we've just had a cup of tea, this is an appropriate story. He carried his commentaries wherever he went. And one day, he decided he was going to refute the Zen school. The Zen school, of course, says, beyond scripture pointing directly to the human mind, mm. beyond words and letters. Right? So he, carrying his big pack of commentaries, decided he was going to go to the area where Zen teachers were and tell them how wrong-headed they were. And he stopped for a cup of tea and a snack. And the refreshment place was being run by, of course, an old woman. This is all the stories, right? Some old woman. Mm. So she said, what's that you're carrying around? And he said, oh, these are my commentaries on the Diamond Sutra. And she said, I understand that in the Diamond Sutra, it says, past mind cannot be grasped. Present mind cannot be grasped. Future mind cannot be grasped. So he went to Old Vuitton, she advised him to do that. And after a long night of asking him questions, he made for the door. Ryutan said, it's all late, you better go. He opened the bamboo screen. So turned back, he said, it's pitch black out here. Ryutan handed him a lit lantern. And just as he was about to take it, Ryutan blew it out. And at that, he was enlightened. No more words, no more commentaries. This need to grasp, a need to identify, a need to categorize. And then when you are really faced by something dramatic like that, then what? 